Hey, so welcome back. And I thought I would just quickly talk about uh, consistent hashing here. And so essentially, what you can imagine a typical scenario for just like hashing algorithms uh, in general is typically what you might have is like some client here and it might have like a particular IP address associated with it. And so when it makes a request to a particular server, um, generally what you would have, especially at scale, is something like a load balancer that sits in the middle here. So let's go ahead and just draw a box for that. And so essentially what this does is it routes uh, these requests to like varying um, backend servers here. And we do this so that we can kind of horizontally scale our applications. Um, and so what you can imagine is, say this is server zero, this is server one, and then this is server two. And so typically what you have is some type of like hashing algorithm. So there would be like a hash function here that's embodied in this load balancer that enables it to basically decide mathematically um, which server it should get routed to. And a very, very common example is to use basically the mod operator, so like the modulus. And what this looks like is basically you take an IP, say this is IP address of um, 13. And so then you just take basically 13 modded by the number of servers here, which is three. And in that case, that would be one. So because uh, 12 divided by three is possible, so then one. So it would get routed um, basically to this server here if you had the IP address of 13. Let's say you have the IP address of 14, then it would get uh, passed on uh, to the second server. And if you had the IP address of 15 modded by three, well, that would get routed here. And so the challenge with this is that this isn't using consistent hashing. And the reason is, is that basically whenever we want to add an extra server here, so say if we added a uh, fourth server called server three, is that because of this, essentially all this routing that we we're doing beforehand, like 15 goes to this one, 13 goes to this one, and 14 goes to this one, you basically have to redo all that work and recalculate exactly where that traffic is going to be going. Because 15 is no longer going to be routed here, since now it's going to be 15 modded by four. And so that would be, I believe, uh, three. So that would now be getting routed to this server instead of it being routed to this server. And same thing with 13 and 14, it's probably all going to be kind of uh, shuffled around as to where it's going to be um, routed to. And the challenge is with this is that often you want your uh, IP addresses to be get routed to the same like server number or same computer. And that's because you might be doing like some extra like caching here. That's kind of like caching some information for that particular IP address that is kind of expecting um, when that IP address hits the server to need. And so maybe like some shopping cart information or just something that's kind of pre-populating and caching in the background in expectation for this IP address to hit that server. Now, the way that we can solve this using consistent hashing um, is, is that basically I'll, I'll show you what the outcome is and then basically um, how we can achieve that. And so if I can erase this, I wish this was bigger. Um, essentially what we want to overcome is that kind of huge shuffle that we're doing so that we're not shuffling like the entirety of all of those um, like objects or like outcomes. And so what that will end up looking like is instead of us having to reshuffle all of those like um, routes, essentially it's just going to be um, K where K is basically uh, the number of keys divided by the number of servers, which we could represent by say uh, N. So it's basically K divided by N. So the number of keys divided by number of server, that is the amount of shuffling that we're going to have to do. And that's much better than like shuffling all of them. And so the way this is actually kind of done behind the scenes is that essentially 
we're going to route everything kind of on a big circle and I'll show you that here. And so essentially what we're going to have is a big cir circle. And so typically what you'd imagine is that this might form like a range of IP addresses. Let's just keep the same um, IP address example. And let's just say like zero to a hundred um, addresses. And so we would have kind of our servers that would sit upon this circle. And so we might have a server uh, here. This would be server one. We would have another server here. This would be, uh, or sorry, this should be server zero. This one would be server one. And then we would have basically server two over here. And so as these requests are going in, so you might have an IP address of say one. And so that would land here. And essentially this number one, in order to find the server on the circle, it just kind of goes counterclockwise. And so it lands right here. And so then when we have say something like number 40, IP address 40 would hit land say here, I'm not 100% sure, but and then it would get routed to server one here. Then let's say we have something like uh, uh, 66. So that might land somewhere here and then get routed uh, to two here. All right, and so what you can imagine is that when we add a server, we wanna limit the amount of shuffling that we have to do. And so in the previous example, where these servers lie on the circle would completely change, it would all be shifted around. But with consistent hashing, you're, it just kind of picks an arbitrary place on this uh, circle here. And I'll just pick another color. And let's say it gets picked here. All right, and so the benefit of this is although we're not kind of shuffling it entirely to make it all even, we're gonna reduce the amount of changes for these kind of um, hits. So that say IP address one, it's still getting routed to server zero and IP address 66, it's still getting routed to server two. Only kind of um, 40, let's say 40 was like here in our previous example, it's no longer going to get routed to uh, number one here. It's now going to get routed uh, to IP address, uh, I guess not four, IP address three. And so only this is being changed rather than all of these, one and 66, being changed as well. And so basically it's just the IP range that falls between um, server zero and server three that's going to be shifted to no longer go to one, but go to three. And this is great if you really care that you're um, consistently being forwarded to the same server rather than a arbitrary server and being shifted around. Um, now, just uh, to clarify this, there's a bit more to this like behind the scenes, but essentially, um, it's not as simple as this, but in reality, what they do is they don't just kind of place one circle on this graph. Uh, each one of these is going to be placed kind of multiple times on the graph to even it up because the IP address, since it's kind of randomly distributed, it might um, cause a lot of things. Say you might get over and over again, just for some arbitrary chance, all of the IP addresses constantly being routed here, and that wouldn't be good. So just to better distribute um, the load on these servers, what happens in reality is that server zero is actually kind of replicated uh, multiple times in this graph here. So here, here, and here. And then server three would also be kind of getting replicated multiple times uh, in this graph as well. Oh. And the benefit of this is that it better kind of distributes the load so that they're all kind of evenly replicated apart from here. And so constantly still the kind of distance between each one, uh, those IP addresses that fall between that range is just getting routed to that particular number. Um, and so I think the only closing thought that I wanna leave with you today is that this won't, might not be necessary for like all use cases. And so that say if you don't really care that a um, particular IP is constantly getting routed to the same server. Like you might not care that um, IP address uh, two here is always getting routed to say server number one. You might think it's okay if it sometimes get routed uh, to server zero.
because you're not really doing any caching there or anything like that. And so if that's the case, you can kind of ignore or not do consistent hashing because instead, why don't you just use um, something like round robin where it just kind of um, rotates between each uh, server that's getting routed to. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped a little bit. It's a really kind of fundamental thing for you to understand. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, good luck with the rest of your studying.